Oh, wow. Like, we haven't done soy face yet, so why would we? Okay, yeah, why the fuck would we? Make it all catty. Yeah. Why would we do it, man? Yeah. We would start if somebody would start the soy yeah. face. Why? Maybe if you could do the whole fucking point of the show. Soy face. The whole reason we're here is for you to do soy face. The whole fucking reason. We all know that. That's the reason why the show's big. Do I have your headphones? Um, oh, I yeah. Pl- I got the plug in one. Yeah. One. Uh. This is good stuff, though. Definitely. Keep this. I think people like this stuff. Keep this. Yeah, the behind the scenes where we're just wor- we're wordlessly untangling cords. Yeah. Is this your. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is everything good? Uh huh. Uh, would you like a Zen, buddy? I would love one. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Joe, of course. Anything for you, pal. I legitimately, I thought that was like, are, like, are we live streaming right now? Oh, shit, yeah. That looks like some shitty MTV movie where, like, everyone dies on, like, a carnival. Yeah, yeah. Or one of the movies they made during COVID. Yeah, exactly. Where it's like Stephen Kwan trying to find his daughter mm-hmm. through FaceTime. Boy, what a worthless time. All the COVID movies that were made. Is this mine? I think That's so. Ben. Can you hand me the other one? Yeah. All right, great. This is, like, retard ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> We can't figure out how to do our lucrative job that takes no work. Yeah. <laughs> how do we... What is mics? Yeah, let's what, not even record. What is microphone? Fuck it. This looks good, I think. Probably looks like shit. Okay. Yay! 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 It's the soy face. Yay. For some reason, this really satisfies me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's nice. Devin, how far are you leaning back? Right there? Like okay. here. Cool. Now you're good. I lean. You mm-hmm. got me these new leaning chairs. I got to use them. I'm about to do something that's going to really piss off a lot of people. What are you going to okay. do? But you guys know I'm a fan of uh, inclusivity and I'm an ally. And so that's why I brought out... <laughs> Bud Light yeah, props. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm a prop comic. Now. Were you were you searching for the trans can but couldn't find it? I literally I went there and I was like, where the fuck's the guy? Check one. Yeah, you have to ask the Indian guy working. Yeah. Like, hey, where's the fucking the freak on the can? I go, where's the beer for the babies? <laughs> Ooh, let's take let's take a sip. Maybe it's different. <laughs> oh yeah, I already kind of want to do a mass shooting. <laughs> <laughs> you crack it and then nice. they replace it all with cum. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Big can of hormones. <laughs> Every 20th can, we put Dylan's cum in it. <laughs> Just for the fans. Gun to hand, a no idea who that lady is. Dylan Mulvaney? I, oh, Dylan Mulvaney. No idea she who that sounds, is. She sounds... I think she's a she. I don't know. They sound I like... Don't know. It's, a it's perfect, a she, I think. Yeah, I it's so. a perfect school shooter name, Dylan Mulvaney. Yep, yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. It is. It's, uh, she's kind of like... Um, uh, the the trans Andrew Tate, like a psyop. You're not really sure where they came from. Overnight, they're mm-hmm. just taking over the world mm-hmm. at war with Greta Thunberg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. she she does look like a like if a school shooter became prom queen. Mm-hmm. They gave her like the tiara and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like Carrie, but for school shooters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They mm-hmm. drop the bucket of cum on her as she pulls out the AR, and mm-hmm. <laughs> doors are locked from the outside. Yep. She's like a TLC <laughs> character that they're just giving like the world to now. Mm-hmm. Like if somebody that fucked their car on like you know TLC was yeah. just my six hundred pound gay life. Yeah, Nike's just like we want you to be the new spokesperson. You fuck cars. Legitimately, not gonna look it up. No idea who it is. Don't know if it's an athlete or I don't know if it's Leah Thomas, a, a, nope. a swimmer. I don't know if it's an it's athlete not. or a rapper or a top 40 lady. I don't know if it's Taylor Swift's agent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It could be an astronaut. Right. I don't know what's going on at all. I know Tucker Carlson's mad. Mm-hmm. I know other people are mad. I don't know what's going on. It's just an incredible troll. It's just like a troll. But what? who is she? I don't know. She did a thing where she like was. Ju- she's just a. It was just a gay guy mm. that's you know, and a lot of gay guys are simply. Just, okay, now we're breaking a lot it of, down. A lot of very you know want to be famous gay guys are just simply mentally ill people. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go back in his catalog, okay. it's just like he's on the prices right. He's on like every daytime show, just uh-huh. like yay. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then they you know they grew their hair out, started putting on bras, mm-hmm. and then they did a thing where it's like I'm going to go a whole year of being a woman. 
and I guess documented it on TikTok. And it, people, it, it's a it's fun to watch because you're kind of like you're kind of shitting on women. It's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But, oh wait, this is a real thing. They did like a, I'm only a, a woman for the next year. I don't know. No, no, not only a woman. It's like I'm going to document my first year as a woman. So oh, I think okay. Bud Light's whole thing is like it's 365 days of being you know an, <laughs> an insane exploiter of an entire gender. <laughs> Right, we know you mm. people are sh- you're struggling for rights and issues, but what if we use that to sell beer? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at that titless man. <laughs> now, me- get in your car and drive home. <laughs> Drink 18 of us and go crash into a kid. So, yeah, I really have no clue either, Ben, but uh, I don't know. The- everyone's pissed because they keep giving her, uh, like, the spokesperson of everything, Nike, everything. I would love if she had to embrace the Bud Life lights, like the Bud Light lifestyle. Yeah, she suddenly has to drive like an F one fifty and yeah, exactly have a goatee and a big flat cap. Mm-hmm. She has to get her ch- uh, truck nuts chopped off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they put a big pussy on the back of her truck. <laughs> truck clits. Yeah, it's a uh, just another fun thing to have in in our worthless world. Mm-hmm. You know, they make her stop start commenting on Rogan's Instagram for his live dates. <laughs> Wish I could have been there. Wish brother. I could have been there, brother. But I was getting my dick chopped off. <laughs> Wish I could have been there, but I was getting estrogen pumped into my neck. <laughs> yeah, it's good times. Good times. I just realized I'm gonna have to stop at like 45 minutes because I, I forgot to reset the SD card. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, All right. Well, we can. Stop. That's yeah. fine. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. We'll God stop. Damn it. <laughs> we'll stop and then we'll keep recording. Put the why don't you get the phone going? Oh, you know what? We'll do the phone. We'll do the phone. We'll do the Fuck phone. it. We'll do the phone. However, however, my phone is filled to the brim with videos of birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to make some room. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it really is. You will come over to the house. I think I've talked about this like once every four months and you figure out what the new autism thing is. Uh-huh. You're like, all right, everybody. It's birds now. It's now birds. It's birds. Yep. You do like it's a birds. PR release. Like, it's birds now. I'm a bird guy. I send you guys. I have my publicist yeah. send you guys press releases. You have, you have like the MJ coming back from baseball, just like, it's birds. <laughs> yep. It's a new thing every year with Ben. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm really into window panes. Hmm. I'm getting into the natural world. I'm out here. I'm connected with nature. You know, I got to thank it all to... To the whale. Yeah. <laughs> because the whale got me into Moby Dick. Moby Dick got me into whales. And whales got me in. Uh, opened up a whole new... I never thought about animals in this way. I've only ever really thought about dogs and petting them and how cute they are. Now I'm just fascinated to the... Uh, I'm up to the gills and in, in, in birds now. Mm-hmm. Or I'm, yeah. uh, my feather, or I'm I'm totally feathered. I'm flustered. <laughs> I'm out there. I'm videoing. I got hummingbirds. I'm making nectar. Yeah, you sent us the hummingbird. You're mm-hmm. Making nectar. Yeah, you're like a fucking. I'm stirring nectar. Yeah, yeah. you're like badger in the RV, just making hummingbird nectar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just scissor. <laughs> All the birds are just like hammered. Yeah, it's just birds just flying into glass. <laughs> just playing mask off. <laughs> you're out there holding your hand right. out. You're, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're putting a little fedora, black fedora on a bird. <laughs> like he's future. <laughs> and then he just try, he tries to fly backwards but can't stop and just, yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you, you feed a bird and then it goes home and hits its wife. <laughs> yeah, you come over to Ben's and he's like, really into French doors now. <laughs> I'm a French door guy. How does... Have you ever seen a guy and then you go, fuck, how do you get there? But now I kind of get it. Because it's just lily pads to other shit. Like this might... I've always looked at guys that get into beekeeping. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who the fuck yeah. gets really into beekeeping? And now I get it. Because now I'm into hummingbirds. Yeah. That's basically bees. You might. Right. Yeah, the next step is we might come over and you're in a full bee costume. Mm-hmm. But somehow you've put all the bees inside of the, of the bee mm-hmm. suit. I'm in. So you're just getting just massacred. I'm in the Hurt Locker jacket, yeah. <laughs> just walking down the streets of LA, just, just with swarms mm-hmm. of bees. Yeah, falling. Just to- going into a coffee bean. Oh shit, Gracie! Hello, just Gracie. Came in. Hello, Gracie. Shut that door. Let me get that door shut. Yeah, dude, Gracie. Gracie heard us talking about Dylan. Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah, she had some thoughts to get yeah, out. Columbine's very own. 
Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney, prom queen of Columbine High. Another guy shot up a place today or something. I saw that. Louisville. He, Big Dem. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Ian Miles Chong was all flustered about that one. Well, it's, what can you expect from the Dems? <laughs> you know why I think he shot, uh, he shot up? I saw on his LinkedIn, he had his pronouns in his bio. Yeah. His he, him. Mm-hmm. So... I think the reason he shot up something in Louisville and killed a bunch of people was because of, right. of pronouns. I think, bio. Yeah, I think the reason the shooting happened is because of something I don't like. Yes, yeah. exactly. He was mm-hmm. a radical left Democrat. <laughs> That's right. After going through his Twitter, his Facebook, his Instagram, finally his LinkedIn. Now I think he's bad. Right. Yep. <laughs> the shooter. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do imagine Ian Miles Chong and those guys, when they find out the shooter is a lib, mm-hmm. they just start filling their diaper at their chair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he's he's doing he's he like unplugs his dick from his robot sex machine. He's the only person who touches weird fucked up penis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they take their shit and they put marks under their eyes like they're a football player. Like, don't you picture Andy No and those guys literally doing that though? Like yeah, they yeah. just they're like, oh man, they're just cracking a a, a Bud Light from last year. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. They're just going nuts. Yeah, he's hitting a he's hitting a sign that says "single out black teenagers in Florida today." <laughs> like he's at Notre single. Dame. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> he's like, all right, hands in. We're gonna go find videos of of fourteen year olds stealing honey buns on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Just I- flying to Portland to watch a subway be burned down. <laughs> It's unfortunate, but these are the last wins for political parties. Yeah. Is the other political party does a shooting. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they just, they turn on a big chalkboard. It says lib shootings mm-hmm. and re- a GOP shootings. And they right. just put one on they the They put board. a mark next to it. And there's 8,000 under both categories. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, looks like it's 8,000 to one libs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Big day for Ian Miles Chong, I guess. Congrats to Ian Miles and uh, everybody else mm. who... Uh, congrats to the people on the winning team. Right. Exactly. The I think we won this one. <laughs> <laughs> I even saw... You like, got me. I saw today, like, Steven Crowder was tweeting, anti-woke Mario movie, a smash at the box office. Anti-woke Mario movie? Yeah. What's that, an anti-woke Mario? Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, yeah. They said because they cast, like, white people to play Mario. That they're like it's an anti woke movie. Oh, oh man, yeah, yeah. I didn't know even that. Was I think co-opted. Be- I think, and I'm not kidding because Mario beats Donkey Kong in the movie. They think it's an anti woke right, movie. Right, of course, yeah. might be right. That's yeah. it. You just summed it up. Yeah, they're like, I, I catch, I catch what you're throwing mm-hmm. down there. So then there's a big evil gorilla in the movie, <laughs> and the white people kill it. Yeah. And Bowser is Asian. We all know that. <laughs> The final scene in the movie, Mario is kneeling on on uh, Donkey Kong's <laughs> neck for like for eight minutes. Well, that's actually already in uh, Rise of Gru. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> uh, how could I forget mm-hmm. the minions? They killed George Floyd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they shoot. Yeah, they shoot Donkey Kong eighty times because he's holding a banana. They think it's a gun. <laughs> He's just getting. He's getting out. He got. He's the only player who got pulled over in Mario Kart. Just buy it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> buy the guy in the cloud with the camera, but he's wearing a cop uniform. He's just going, hands, 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 hands. Then he shoots him. He keeps dropping shells all over the road. Black puddles. <laughs> Everyone in the Super Mario world looks racist as shit. Yeah. You're telling me Wario doesn't drop an M-bomb? <laughs> oh, yeah. Online. War- Wario's the most Wario weirds out the other racist characters. Wario has a show on c- yeah. the Kumia Compound yeah. Network. <laughs> For sure. Wario's Wario's definitely going like they're only thirteen I can't do the voice. Yeah. They're only thirteen percent of the population. <laughs> hey, Wario's like, no. mm-hmm. Wario's got a big problem with Bill Burr's wife. <laughs> Toad looks right. Ra- to- Toad looks like fucking uh, the Dalai Lama's handler. <laughs> the- Toad is just sex trafficking children in Tibet for the Dalai Lama. That's right. What was the Dalai Lama doing? He's having like fucking like BDSM sex with kids on stage. Yeah. Something like he, that. He like, tried yeah. to bite the tongue out of a child's mouth. Yeah, yeah. He was mm. doing like wet t-shirt contests with a kid. <laughs> He's doing the man show. <laughs> the Dalai Lama. Right. He's like, we have the juggies jump on the TV. The little kid. That was creepy as what shit. What the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know, man. It's all out in the open now. Yeah. Like, in a year, it'll just be, like, the Pope just, like, raping a child on stage. Yeah. yeah. Like, in front of the Like, Vatican. on the Today and, Show. Yeah, yeah, like, on the Today Show. <laughs> in the in the box on the Pope Mobile. <laughs> they just throw a kid in like it's the cow in Jurassic Park. You just see him thrashing around. 
Yeah, that was weird as shit. And then the shooter was a strapping young lad. Like the, the, yeah, they're yeah. getting, they're getting, they're turning into like they're like just they're just like hands. They look like you now. Mm-hmm. The shooters. Yeah. Oh, thank they, you. They gotta look shitty. Thank you for us to feel. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like five star prospects now. Yeah. You know. No, really, it's it's uh, the, these Brock Turners. They're turning to shootings now too. I wonder what people are gonna start doing when the shooters, because the shooters are getting, it's getting so common. It's getting eclectic. I, I I'm kind of curious because eventually there's gonna be a shooter who's like like really hot. Like real, like a girl, a busty girl with huge, a girl that looks like Kim Kardashian, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Going through just mowing people down in a school, mm-hmm. Titty, titties, uh, like she looks like a Tomb Raider, you know, Tomb Laura Raider, Croft. Laura yeah, Croft. Yeah, Laura yeah, Croft. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, mm-hmm. some bitch like that, mm-hmm. a Cortana type bitch, yeah, going through just sniping kids, mm-hmm. resting a rifle on her right titty mm-hmm. while she shoots people, yeah, 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 like a grindhouse. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah, that'll happen. Big gun leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shooting Try at people. Try to kill her, her ass doctor because her ass exploded at the Cheesecake Factory. She's hanging out with the Delk boys. It, it's easy for guys to, like, separate the art from the artist when it comes to, like, like really hot, like, ladies doing bad shit. Mm-hmm. And then for women, they can't separate. This is why they're sicker. For women, they can't separate the art from the artist. And they still get wet. Mm-hmm. They like that, uh, like serial, like Ted Pundy. They like that he killed all those women, and yeah. it really gets them off. Mm-hmm. That's so much sicker than because to us, we can just see a really hot lady who drowned her kids, and we don't even we can't we don't even think about all the bad shit we she did, right? And we're still rubbing one out. To yeah, her. Casey Anthony, sure, Amanda Knox, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not yeah. thinking of women. Will think about the kids that were killed. Yeah. And rub one out. Yeah, if, if, if they're empaths, those <laughs> fucking broads. Yeah, you could be fucking a man in Ox and you're just like, okay, don't think about the roommate or whatever. Right. You know, I'll just push that. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. And then the minute I nut, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get mm-hmm. fuck you. There's a bed, like knife under the pillow or something. <laughs> That's her dildo. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have any clue why women get off to guys having killed a bunch of ladies? Because they want to be killed. That's the ultimate sign of love. Mm-hmm. So, so does that make them feel special where they go, you loved me so much you wanted to kill me? In a deep, sick way. Yeah, I think wow. so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They, want to be, they want to be consumed. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So women are really neglected that much and yeah. ignored that much. They just like attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's the ultimate attention. Mm-hmm. So much attention, like I'm killing you. Did like, you die? It, yeah. Like, hey, my spotlight's on you. Right. Because they're just married to just guys around the country who are like, Saturdays are for the boys. You exactly. Know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're like, Sundays are for Bundy. <laughs> so there's there's thousands of women married to like a uh, like a business major, barstool sports guy mm-hmm. in Dallas, Texas. And she's like, she's chewing him out like, God damn it, would you just get off the couch once in a while and just strangle me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you throw me against the wall every now and then, put a knife to my throat? Would you threaten... Would you threaten to kill me and the kids mm-hmm. for once and get me off? Yeah, yeah. I'm drier than shit over here. Yep. She would settle for a huge argument that never gets resolved and culminates in like having passionate sex. Mm-hmm. Yes. But she's just like, can you take the trash out? And he's looking for a zen under the couch and he just ignores her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's their relationship. So yeah. the opposite of that, I find somebody in a cell. He's butchered 85 women, but I can fix him too. Mm-hmm. I think it's the I can fix him. Yeah. Thing. But what they well. really want, what would really spice up the relationship is taking a carving knife on Thanksgiving to their neck when everyone leaves. <laughs> sure. You know? But I guess it's it really is on us, though. Because if we just listen to them, then they wouldn't want to fuck Ted Bundy mm-hmm. and all these shit. Like, right. if we just, Which if is, we actually but listen. But here's the thing. That's an impossible task. It kind of is, It's though. literally, it, all I've done is master dissociation. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. I know. It's I know. nonstop nonsense. Ten yeah. percent of what they're saying is meaningful. Ten mm-hmm. percent. You have to sift through it the like a prospector. The rest is just like you're a forty nine er. You you're have just... to decide what do I tune into. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, it's like I, you you get a call like they'll go out to go to the store. You get a call like I was cut off for something. You're like, what? Who? Mm-hmm. If you were any guy, I'd stop ever speaking. I'd never speak to you. Most women are the equivalent of the shittiest guy you know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I tune out. I don't not know. Not mine. You. Not yours. Not yours. Not no, yours we're either. talking about the rest. I'm talking about the past women. If I'm any of our girlfriends and our wife is listening to this, we're not talking about not about, talking about you. you. And also, I asked you to not listen to the podcast. And also, don't listen to this. <laughs> I've asked you many times, and you keep doing it. <laughs> when women. Because sometimes I need to go guy mode. When women talk, I listen to. Uh, I don't listen to words or anything, and I don't even like look at. 
Like I look somewhere about their face, right? Somewhere, mm-hmm. somewhere in the vicinity. You're, you're of their like face. My, Michael Caine's training for acting by talking to a woman. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what you do is so you don't sound out. So here's the thing: we've all been talking to a woman. She's born as shit. You go from the left eye to the right eye, and I learned that from Burgess Meredith. <laughs> I just look at like they turn into. Basically, five seconds into a woman speaking, she turns into a shape. Mm-hmm. I just see a blurry shape. It's like the way a, a dog sees the world. Yeah, you unfocus yeah. your eyes like a magic eight, <laughs> like the magic posters that has the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that that's and then I listen for. I don't listen to words. I listen. I don't know about you guys. I listen for like pitch and frequency, mm-hmm. and I can tell at the certain hertz and decibels whether or not I need to start tuning in to whatever the hell she's saying. And yeah. then I pick up every other word and I kind of. I put it together. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I do. It's like a Sudoku. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I know. I'm telling you. It's, I think I'm pretty good at it, actually. You, it, it's, it's, you have to get good at it mm-hmm. or your heart will explode. Yeah, but, yeah. But you, you will get eaten alive. You'll be eaten alive. It's but pretty vicious. I, I got to say, you know what I always fail? I always fail the, what did I just say? I always fail. Mm-hmm. I've never passed that one time. Oh, you're oh, you, okay. Okay. What did I just say? Right. I go, fuck. Yeah. I you like, said you said uh-huh, and then you said uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. and that's because I love you that means you're done talking exactly <laughs> because you went no but no baby you went uh huh which I know means I start talking now yep. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you really have to ask that question when you've been really riveting. Mm-hmm. What did I just say? No one ever needed to ask that if they mm-hmm. if what they were saying mattered. Right, right. And then you can summarize mm-hmm. it like, no, there was a guy at the bank and he was kind of weird, but he wasn't weird at you. And you can't <laughs> really describe how he was being weird, but it was just a vibe. And then you didn't like that. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. you drove home and you wanted to get frozen <laughs> yogurt, but you didn't want to. And you wished I... <laughs> I was there so I would get it with you uh, and then you wouldn't feel bad but I was at work making money for us <laughs> is what you were saying they often will also do this thing where it's like they're just uh, the constant center of attention that they think everyone is aware of their lives they they say people like auxiliary people that you don't know never met they call them by their first name all the time yeah. like mm-hmm. you've met them like and you have to be like I don't know who Sharon is or get like stop saying well Sharon was I don't know I've never met her mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you'll be on like a road trip too or something they, everything dates back to them like they're so the center of their own world like like Patrice said I think they're the lead characters in the movie of their life uh-huh. And they're like the star of their own movie. We've been, I've been on like a road trip in the middle of nowhere and Ida will like see somebody and be like, is that Kelsey? And I'd be like, who's Kelsey? Like my best friend in first grade. I'm like, what are the chances that your best friend in first grade is in the middle of the desert right now? Mm-hmm. Like only because you're living in the movie of your life. Mm-hmm. You're in Death Valley. Right. Yeah, where like a hundred people live. Yeah. And sometimes you even nail it where the, you'll be like, oh, Kelsey from New York. And they're like, no, Kelsey who threw her baby in the ocean and it died. <laughs> And you're like, you know, eight Kelsey's. I'm sorry. I was taking a fucking shot in the dark. Every every story is my friend sucks. Yeah. That's how you can sum up every story is my friend was being weird and they suck. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. maybe you suck. Yeah. Maybe maybe you attract in life who you are. Yeah. Maybe you suck. Also, actually. being coy about men being really nice to them and acting like it's just because of me. Like, yeah. I have no idea. Like, coming home, being like, so yeah, I started talking. This guy was just kept giving me drinks and he was really nice and he owns his business. And then at the end of the night, he offered me like 50% of his business. Mm-hmm. What do you think that's about? <laughs> <laughs> And they're like, he's a nice guy. Yeah. They're like, no, 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 he's a nice guy. He offered me fifty percent of his business. He pulled his dick out. Sorry, but that was unrelated. Unrelated yeah. to the business ventures. Yeah. yeah, women can cheat and not even know they cheated. <laughs> No, I was hanging out with my straight uh, guy friend. You know, we went eight hours solo in the woods, you know, just chilling. Just chilling. You know, but he's a great guy. Great guy. Every time yeah. you're... He loves you. Yeah, he loves you. They always go, he's a lo- big dude, fan of you. Dude, he mm. loves... He doesn't listen to the podcast, but he said he's <laughs> glad that... He said he's not angry that you exist. <laughs> And they're like, no, he's like, no, it's like he has a girlfriend he cheats on. It's fine. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, mm-hmm. Let, letting the ladies have it today. Oh, huh? Claire, yeah. uh, Claire Mulvaney, uh, or where is it? Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney. Mulvaney. This is what happens when you take our our gender away. Right. We stop playing by the rules. We're not playing by the rules anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're, we're drinking the old Bud Light. Yeah, this is the old one. It's like the old Kanye. Hell yeah! This is the uh, adjacent to the Confederate flag Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. I like the old Bud Light. <laughs> 
<laughs> God. Do you see people are going on eBay buying old the old Bud Light for yeah. like $150 a can? I'm sure there's guys acting like it's Philly when the water became <laughs> not drinkable. Sure. They just like got they like got a horse trailer and they're yeah. just at every 7-Eleven. Oh, there's a lot of hillbillies dying of dehydration <laughs> cuz they never drank water. This was their water. Right, they have to switch to regular Bud because they don't realize it's a different company. <laughs> there was fucking Dan Crenshaw was really funny. He tweeted, he's like, this house is a Bud Light free zone. And then he tweeted like another beer that's like directly owned by, by Anheuser Bush. Yeah. That's classic. You, you guys missed it. Uh, Brendan Fraser just fell over in the in the whale. <laughs> oh, he, sick. he tried to stand up and he fell over. It's like a big uh, part at the beginning act too. It's like a big stunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he fell over. Look at he, that. He tried to stand up and he fell. And now he's reading a book about a uh, squid. Mm-hmm. Look at that fat piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. And this is what... To, to bring it home, this is what a woman did to him. The secret metaphor of this movie is being in a 12-year mm-hmm. marriage that's yeah. so bad you become gay. <laughs> out of... Out of an over... Out of a, a pendulum swinging the other way. Yeah. <laughs> You go, I don't even want to fuck him, but I'm gonna just because of the conversations are better. Can you imagine how much he would suck if he was a lady? Brendan Fraser? No, no, no. This and the whale. Like if the whale starred a big fat lady instead. Mm-hmm. Oh, if this was the, he'd be, first of all, he'd be happily dating a 100 pound Hispanic man. Yep. She wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the incredulous Cholo. The incredulous Cholo. She'd be dating that guy. <laughs> She'd be dating a guy who just holds her from behind in public in line at the movie theater. Yep. And then the whole movie would be her complaining about how no guys want to fuck her. Yep. While she writes like Rupee Cower like fucking yeah, yeah. poetry. Yeah, Milk yeah. and honey. Yeah. Yeah. Milk. She ha- only has Ooh. the book because she thinks it's, there's that food's in it. <laughs> she bought milk and honey because she goes, ooh. Ooh, where is it? Mm. She buys she buys cookbooks to look at the food. <laughs> That's porn. Yeah, it's, yeah, she'd pass jerking off to it. Yeah, she'd be the most annoying woman on Twitter of all time. Yeah, oh yeah. for sure. The whole movie would just be like her trying to cancel like Kurt Metzger or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the whole movie would be her being like, "Nope, how come nobody wants to fuck me?" And then it's like, "Well, what if you fuck this also fat person?" She's like, "That's kind of gross. I don't want to do that." That's my biggest pet peeve with fat people as a person who's also struggled with his weight is I've seen people openly complain like no fit people want to fuck me. Right. And it's like, well, you can fuck fat people. Like, that's also an option. And they're like, oh, it's kind of, well, I don't do that. It's kind of sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a little better than that because I've created this lie in my head to survive mm-hmm. looking in the mirror and not blowing my brains out. It's like the women on the dating websites that are like, you know, I don't like to be objectified and then they're like, I don't date anybody over, like, under 6'3". Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the lady looks like a, a young Roxanne Gay. Yeah, the lady looks like a Rorschach test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like Lindy West in a stairwell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Lindy South. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Lady, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies. Lindy, more like Lindy South. More like Lindy South, ladies and gentlemen. That will be phase three of the podcast is us doing bombing comic Horrible on the Sopranos shows. comedy. Yeah. Which isn't the worst. Wouldn't it be the, it still would be the second best podcast out there. <laughs> what happened to those broads? What ladies? Which broads? I don't know. All those fat, fun, ruining women. Oh, they, oh their hearts exploded they, like four years dead. ago. Yeah. They're still writing books somehow about like being hungry. <laughs> They just put out like scrapbooks of like menus of restaurants they ate at. <laughs> it's very strange what they put out. Have you seen like Roxanne Gay's books? They're all titled like Hunger mm-hmm. and things like that. Really? It's very yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, she does have a book called Hunger. She has a book called Hunger. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm guessing the book is about it's about her belly. Yeah, her big enormous belly. It's about that one three minute period in her life where she was hungry. <laughs> I remember August 7th, 5 p.m. It was a Tuesday. And I like just got a dress. Yeah, or I had something. just gotten out of surgery, so I couldn't eat for five hours. <laughs> surgery to repair my shrapnel exploded heart. It was my colonoscopy. I was mm, 24. Right. Because, really, at the end of the day, those people are doing the exact same things as like the quote unquote nice guys. Where they're like, no, women don't want to like fuck nice guys, and it's like, well, you've built 
there's nothing about you you've built to attract women. Right. You know? Right. And they're like, all these assholes get women. It's like, yeah, they they go to the gym. They're obsessed with wealth. Like, they've, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like if you, were, try. if you were going fishing and you just threw a wine into the water with no hook on the end of it. <laughs> right. You're like, why am I not catching fish? Right. And then there's a guy who, yeah, granted, he's a he sucks. Mm-hmm. He's a Chad, but he's like th- like a big, he's got a lure with metal and feathers coming out of it and yeah. shit mm-hmm. you know it's, yeah it's true it, it's crazy that like 120 years ago it was actually really difficult to become a great big fat guy yeah. so much so that if you got really fat like people thought you were fucking awesome yeah yeah they would fist bump you if they saw you they take pictures with you mm-hmm. with the old the ones when you only get like one picture in your whole life there were sometimes in america where they just the fattest guy became the mayor mm-hmm. every year they'd have a big scale and whoever was the fattest got a big top it, it, it was a it, sign of wealth yeah, yeah. right yeah if you were really fat, people just assumed you had a boat <laughs> mm-hmm. and like a bunch of suits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, there was uh, fat guys clubs in New York. I don't know if you ever saw that that photo from like nineteen oh three in New York City. I was just right. thinking there was like it was called like the Big Men's Club. Yeah, it's yeah. called like the Gout Room. <laughs> I think gout used to be a sign of like like mm-hmm. it was only rich people got because the yeah. King's disease. King's disease. Yeah. Right, and they had like a secret handshake if you were in the club. You mm-hmm. could be. It's just a handshake, but there's it sticks yeah, when they, you try to pull just them apart. Suck your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a nice feel. Oh, that feels like yeah. You exchange whatever candy's stuck to your shirt <laughs> in the handshake, like a bribe. I wonder what the hell people did back then if they couldn't get pussy. Like what the hell? Because now hmm. people just gaslight everybody into being like, no, I should get pussy. Basically, they right. like construct the world on the internet where they're like, they're either like, no, actually, I get a ton of pussy, or they're like, no, actually, I should get the most pussy, mm-hmm. or they just like, you know, they go lock and load, <laughs> as they as they say. Yeah, every man as they grow up, they discover some elaborate ruse of a personality to get pussy. Yeah, and they, you know, some people get really into like a Midwest emo band mm-hmm. and they get laid that way. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I some guess- people get like they go to. They really study hard at school and they get a finance job and then they get a hot wife that way. Right. right you know, right. I guess back in the day you could be like, oh, uh, you could like enlist in like the Civil War. Yeah. And then you go like try to become a war hero just so you can finally get your dick sucked. Right. Mm-hmm. Return home. Mm-hmm. So you can go in a barn somewhere and then lay back in a bale of hay and get sucked off. Yeah. But your first day in battle, you're like a cannonball blows your dick <laughs> off. Right. Yeah. It's also the Civil War. There wasn't like great documentation for your heroics. Yeah. You know, people are like, I guess. Oh, because it's like, uh, yeah. Well, you gave it's yourself the medal. You're like the only man standing because you hid. Yeah, there's no video. There's no it. video. Right. There's, you come yeah. out at the end of the battle. You're like, ah, oh, we f- I've killed 80 guys. I, I, we did. I won. <laughs> I won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We saw you crawling out of a hole and then you just shoot that guy. Yeah. You're like, I, he killed himself because he's a coward. You take his blood and you put it on you and you mm. act like, you know, you really yeah, yeah. you really did something out there. Yeah, you're like, that was a red coat. That's his blood, not mm-hmm. some guy I killed because he saw me crawling out of a hole in a field. Can I say I, I do know, people always go, oh, dude, if I was in Nazi Germany, like I wouldn't have been a Nazi. Can I, I, can I just say I know for a fact if I was in, uh, if I was in war, mm-hmm. right? If I had to be enlisted... Let's say, let's just say for, I was in the, the Southern Army. Okay. In let's, scenario, let's, ju- let's just let's say just that. Let's just say. <laughs> my lineage, uh, my, all my ancestors are from the South. You know, I, I probably would have ended up fighting for the South. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I would yeah. run immediately. As soon as the battle starts, mm-hmm. I am run, I'm yeah. dropping my rifle mm-hmm. and I am running as fast as, I don't care who's calling me gay, Same. as I'm, I'm pushing past people, mm-hmm. I'm screaming and crying like a baby, pissing myself. Mm-hmm. I'm filling my pants with shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm tripping over my shit that's spilling out of the bottom of my knickers. Yep. Yep. I would go one further. I wouldn't even get that far. I would, like, the day they they come to town, they're like, all right, all eligible men, I would go behind a barn and I'd break my own yeah. foot. Oh, with, like, yeah. A you'd injure yourself. And you want to know why the only, re- the only way you'd be able to stay around is they'd be like, what'd you call pants? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of realized as yeah. I said it, I was yeah. like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a rough one. It's yeah. a rough one. Especially when word. you're talking about hypothetically <laughs> yeah. fighting for the South. Hypothetically <laughs> yeah. fighting for the Confederates. Right. There's going to be a couple. The Patreon episode is you going, now, hypothetically, I was born in New York. I would probably go down to the South. 
to fight for the rebel cause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, my, all my family's from the uh, the royalty of the Gilded Age mm-hmm. in Manhattan, and still, yeah, I can't. I and still, right. Say I was born in Nepal, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the 1800s, and I was 60 around that time. Yeah. I would get on a cruiser and I'd go to the. <laughs> I somehow instinctually mm-hmm. from my r- superior racism know there was a big war yeah. happening. I was stolen like in 12 Years a Slave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was sold into the Confederacy. Yeah, 12 Years a Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't know what happened with the whole Civil War thing because supposedly Robert E. Lee was one of the greatest generals to ever live. He was amazing. Like Supposedly like the South was just stacked. Yeah. It was like Golden State yeah, the, it was and the, they like fumbled it. It somehow. was literally just the North had black guys. That was it. Oh right! Yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. It was like in you know in <laughs> yeah, it was kind of it. It was like in Glory Road when they're like, "How did they win the first national championship <laughs> with the with the far superior yeah. basketball team?" The North had a bit more motivation. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's yeah. so funny that they had a a, a very racist and qu- very qualified uh, famous general, and his name is Bob. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that is very funny. Uh, that's yeah. pretty funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, you should hear his stories from Tijuana. <laughs> hey, he's on that Mulvaney syrup. Hey. Hey. That old Bud Light. It was a, he, Robert E. Lee is like, it was a lie. <laughs> he's like, I made he's it like trying to be entertaining. <laughs> he's like, I was right. It was, he's like, yeah, like we fought the war, but it was like a lot. Like mm. I was bored. <laughs> Robert, L, Robert E. Lee also probably power fucked a kid. He probably yeah. did. Sure. Things yeah, were lawless sure. then. Yeah. Let's go along. Well, let's run with it. Yeah, why not? No, nah, why not? Sure. I'll say it. Yeah. Robert he, E. Lee probably fucked children. Yeah. He did talk about it on DVD also one time. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, hey, man. I didn't fucking make it up. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. I'm not saying anything. I'm. I don't there, even know what you're talking there's about. There's no truth to it. He said he made it up. I don't know who anyone is. Same yeah. as that midget that said that he like you know was living in that woman's pussy on the tour bus <laughs> or something. Yeah, he turned a woman's pussy into the Shire yeah. on Carlos Mencia's uh, tour bus. Brad Williams. Yeah, right? yeah. He mm-hmm. said that there's some story. Yeah, where he's like, I was living in her pussy for a year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I crawled out one night. Like it's the no. Shire. Yeah. yeah and he it's went my there and back if you again. haven't looked it up, go to D- Getting Dug with High. Um, what's it, Brad Williams? Yeah. There's, he tells a story that's clearly made. I think it's made I up. I think it's made up, yeah. It's like him trying to be like a party rock story. Mm-hmm. And the end of the, the punchline that he came up with while he was catatonically high is, so I raped her. <laughs> <laughs> and like all the other comics on the show. But he told it like a true story. Yep. And so all the other comics on the show were like, hey, I think that's... Whoa. I think you raped a drunk woman. He's like, what? Ah. No. And then he's also catatonically high. Yeah. <laughs> what a nightmare. Yeah. So you can see a little person... Realize he's throwing his life away. I don't know if I could like be in a blunt rotation with like a a, a little person, a little rapist. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm sitting across from a baby and he's telling me he like raped a woman. Yeah, like on spring break. Yeah, and I'm just he's passing me the blunt. No thanks. Yeah, fucking nightmare. Yeah, exactly. Nightmare. Yeah. No thanks, Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> I, think if, Stewie Griffin. <laughs> I think if i yeah if i hit the blunt and then i pass it to and his little fingers touch my hand i think i would like freak out yeah like you think you're gonna start shrinking i might pick him up and just throw him like with one hand sure i was i was com- if i was a midget comedian stand-up comedian sure i would go on stage i would have a little stool and a little microphone and a little mic stand <laughs> to match my height. But yeah. a big glass of water. <laughs> yeah, but a regular glass of water. Yeah. Can you plug my... I think my headphones came. Oh, sorry. I think Gracie's fat ass rolled over my headphones. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. We got to prepare for the... We got to get that other camera going, too. Uh, oh, Jace, you're stepping on your own. Oh, okay. I'm this sorry, This really Gracie. is a metaphor for your life. Sorry, Gracie. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to be wow. attacked. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> all right. Well... <laughs> All right. Well, wait till I send Katie the timestamp link of you talking about Doggy Dare. <laughs> we all just start blackmailing each other with the podcast. I'm, I'm just ready to send each clip to each other's girlfriends. I'm going to get divorced and I'm going to start dating uh, the Bud Light lady. Yeah. Mulvaney. Yeah. That would be a good turn for us, actually. Yeah, it'd be great. If we do a hard trans right turn, Dude, out imagine of nowhere, the sponsors we get. Yeah, we get so many. I mean, the Patreon would go down to negative five dollars yeah. <laughs> the next day. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've had people. We owe to, Patreon money. Yeah, yeah. We've had people trying to can't. Patreon would call us and be like, "Hey, we've, there's no, there's no retards, no trans. <laughs> like, you got to pick it up. We could get her on. You think so? Yeah. Dylan. Dylan. I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Yeah. We could figure yeah, it out probably someday. Could. Mm-hmm. We probably could. Wow. This plate. This plate. This plate. This plate. This plate. This plate. Stop doing Cartman voice. Ha, cringe. You like cringe? Ha. You're being cringe right now. You're Devin. You're chuggy. I'm gonna need you to take two seats, ro- two steps back, real quick, Queen. You're being chuggy. What is chuggy? Quick vibe check, Dev. Why are you being chuggy? Chuggy means like millennial cringy. Quick vibe. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. being so chuggy. Like if you're being very millennial, you're chuggy. Uh-huh. Like a live, laugh, love. Yeah. Like right. type of thing is chuggy. Yeah, we'll yeah. have fun at school. <laughs> bruh. Bruh, I've just found out your body count, bruh. You're being chuggy. You're being chuggy. I'll hold it and you can do it. Okay. <laughs> None of the, he probably doesn't want any of this in. Okay, so this is it. This is in the show right now. Yeah, it's in the show. Yeah, okay. we're, we're technically doing the we're show right it. now. We're yeah. fuck it. We'll do it live, bruh, bruh. This is this plate is a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. This plate created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy, tart, mag. Shit. Fuck, fuck. God damn it, Ben. This plate created a 21st century <laughs> canvas that's sturdy, magnet mounted. And durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. But staring is only half the fun. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will. This plate has branded and artistic work. They have over 1 million designs available for everyone, including official designs from brands like Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Netflix, and NASA. Whoa! Plenty of games and movies. If you like something, they mostly ha- likely have a design for it. Uh, you know what uh, ones I like? I picked out a Lord of the Rings poster that was really sick. I picked out uh, a poster from the movie Alien that was badass. I picked out a cute one with a, a kitten on it holding a baby chicken. And it said, different is beautiful. And I got that for Katie. And mm. she hung it in the, in the stairwell. She really liked That's it. That's nice. I love the South Park one. I'd love a couple of those. This South Park one kicks ass. I'd love that. There's a bunch of South Park ones. There's ones of like Eric Cartman. And, and I think there's ones of Towie, too. Mm. There's ones like, respect my data. Right, right, right. Please stop with the voice. Okay. Jesus. All right. Sorry. You know? What, did you ever watch the show growing up? <laughs> Idiot. Each product is a high quality design printed on metal in Europe. Wow. And hand signed by their master of production. I also got an old World War I poster that was really sick. I mm-hmm. gave it to Katie. They're incredibly from, well from made. From Austria. Super sturdy and they look great. Uh, this plate created a unique, safe, easy magnet mounting system that takes 20 seconds only. That's true. No need for drilling your walls. Yeah, you don't want to get your landlord mad. So this is a magnet. All you need to do is wipe your wall with a cleaning wipe, stick a protective leaf, place a magnet, and put this plate on your wall, and it's that easy. This plate delivers its products worldwide in only four to five business days. It's a perfect alternative for standard paper posters that often get damaged, and it doesn't leave marks on the wall. There are also... They are eco-friendly. Wow. Or do you say eco-friendly? Eco-friendly. <laughs> yeah. Eco-friendly? Well, they're for bats. Yeah. <laughs> For every design sold, they are planting one tree. Wow, that's awesome. But they don't tell you what they're going to do with those trees once they're full grown. What, what are you implying? I don't know. We're not implying anything in the ad because we haven't finished with the copy. They yet. already said they're metals from Europe. You know what that means. So, call to action. Use the link <laughs> in the description or go to displate.com slash lemon party. And use code LEMON at the checkout to get 22% off for one to two displays or 33% off for three and more displays, which is what you should do. That's a great bargain. 33% off for three and more displays or 22% off for one to two displays. Both are great deals at displate.com slash lemon party and use code LEMON at the checkout. Display, collect your passions. Thank you, Display. Thank, Thank you, you. Display. Have a good one, buddy. Thank you, Wichter. Bye. 
Gentlemen, if you didn't already know, it's tax season here in the U.S. And am I, am I allowed to be funny? Yeah, I think Manscaped is pretty cool. Cool. I, I've emailed the guy. He's a nice dude. Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, if you didn't already know, it's tax season here in the U.S. And you know what that means? It means that Manscaped is here to make sure your paperwork is done and your boys downstairs are having fun. Yeah, they're talking about your balls. That's nice. sick. Yeah. And your penis, too, I guess. They're not talking about that, dude. Says here they are. Make sure you spend your tax return money on the important things this year, like family, friends, and ball deodorant. They were just talking about balls. See? This is right. Yeah, I, I uploaded this copy. I don't know what this, was, this company was. Something about... Oh, here. It says here, join the 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with code lemon party. Huh. I would I would love to join 8 million men in something. Mhm. Mm. How about you guys? Like a march? Yeah. Yeah, I love a march with men with 8 million of them. Yep. I'm thinking about 8 You know 8 million men that's 16 million balls. Yep. Mm, yeah. Yep. And uh almost 8 million penises. <laughs> yeah, almost. Yeah. Just, Could be like Dylan Mulvaney's in there. Yeah, you know? exactly. They yeah. just they just signed him <laughs> or her. Sorry, Jesus. Fuck. Uh, well, you, yeah. Who knows? What better way to? <laughs> I'm sure you think Dylan Mulvaney's going to be on the new season of uh, The Last of Us. Last of Us season two is going to yeah. be Dylan yeah. Mulvaney. Maybe. She'll play a gay mushroom. When the kid grows up, they'll just turn it into Dylan. That'd be weird in the zombie apocalypse to, be, to become trans. Like the world's over. And, and the zombies like, don't even kill you because they're too busy just yelling about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Having an argument. Yeah. But, yeah. Zombies like, I got to get on Twitter. Yeah. Zombies like, I think this is sick. <laughs> Everybody's like, whoa. The, the other zombies are like, whoa. Dude. Whoa. Just, whoa. Just fucking bite them. Right. Listen, the Bud Light's annoying, but I mean, they're still people. <laughs> What better way to invest your tax return than into yourself? Manscaped has a full package from head to toe to make sure you get your money's worth this April. Their Performance Package 4.0 is the ultimate bundle you need to reinvent yourself and your confidence. The Lawnmower 4.0 Trimmer is the star of the show. Offering... Hey, it's like me. It's the star of the show. That's right. It's offering a precise shave on all your wildest hedges. Equipped with an LED light, you can navigate in and out of those difficult areas with ease. Do we mention it's waterproof as well? More exciting news, guys. The Performance Package 4.0 now includes Manscaped's brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer. This bad boy has been totally revamped with a new and improved blade and motor. And dare I say this is the best ear nose hair trimmer ever? Whoa. Cordless, rechargeable, and comes with skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs. After cleaning your nose, make sure to get rid of that foul ball smell with the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver. The Crop Preserver is an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. The Crop Reviver is a spray-on toner for your balls. Keep your boys from sticking to your leg and leave them feeling brand new. For all my guys out there with a little scruff, Manscaped now has beard products. Yeah, the whole package. (laughs) They're brand (laughs) new. Their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit is the head honcho. Man, they really got everything. Yeah. Containing nine plus products plus wet goods. This is everything you need to craft your signature look. It's like a Swiss Army knife, guys. The start of spring also marks the start of Testicular Cancer Awareness Month in April. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Uh, So Manscaped has partnered with Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer, men's health, and early cancer detection. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code LEMONPARTY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code LEMONPARTY at manscaped.com. Don't get your money back this year. Get your swagger back, too, with Manscaped. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I have I have hope. I know we can get on uh, the OJ detective, uh, Mark Furman. We could get Furman on? We could yeah. get Mark Furman Fur- on. You're not going to believe this. Furman's a big fan of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I also love Ben just going, you know, the OJ detective. Yeah. yeah. Mark Furman. Mark Furman. The detective for whites. We can get him. Yeah. The <laughs> most, uh, probably the most racist detective, I guess. Quote, unquote. I mean, because OJ did kill. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about 90s LAPD. It, 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 he was yeah. definitely racist, but sure. the, 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 the tapes of him that, that really helped out OJ a lot. I mean, that was for, a, he's just a retard. It was, yeah. it was for a like, like indie documentary thing. So and a script writer was talking sp- to him. Yeah. And he would clearly, I think, was trying to like land a role in the movie or mm-hmm, something. Mm-hmm. So he was 
was just going like Tom Sizemore and Heat. Yeah, no, he was like that was his the performance of a like he thought he was going to be in like a David Ayer's film. Yeah, after that, and then it was just used because you know OJ had like the dream team and they exploited anything they could, and so it was like brilliantly used. But it mm-hmm. wasn't that wasn't just like footage or uh, audio of him just genuinely saying all those horrible things. Mm-hmm. It was like a movie because I think he of. also like made up a bunch of stories and stuff too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, like like yeah, it's yeah. like you know hit him in the head because he's a you know black guy like mm-hmm. that type of shit but i don't think that was just that wasn't him in like the moment that wasn't like natural wait so did they have a tape of him like using the n-word yes, or something like they that had, like yeah. an endless day you can see mm-hmm. marsha clark in nice. court it's like jesus fucking christ uh, yeah, yeah it was almost your like honor, a bit. it was the first podcast yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mark Furman. <laughs> your honor mark Furman was doing the first podcast now they don't exist yet but he's a little bit ahead of his time yeah. your yeah. honor it was on lemon party <laughs> bonus episode it, it yeah. was behind a paywall, yeah, Your the, Honor. The lawyer stands up. He goes, Your Honor, that's a Patreon episode. <laughs> that is inadmissible. <laughs> that is not for the public. Overruled. <laughs> Overruled. We paid for the $5 to you. <laughs> yeah, because he withheld it from them, too. He never told Marsha Clark or Darden. I think they asked him, like, have you ever used it? And he's like, yeah, and he's absolutely like, not. Never. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's their fault for not having the other lawyer go, the black lawyer, leave the room. Yeah. And Marsha just be like, all right, now, for real. Now, you- I know you're a little nervous around Chris. Yeah. But, <laughs> but for real, we all use it, right? <laughs> uh, should I start setting up the phone, I yeah, guess? Yeah, get the yeah, phone go going, get it. the phone going. Because the stuff they played in court was almost like, it was like a bad bit. Out of like a Family Guy episode. Yes, but what's yeah. but but it was like hilarious because it was it was admissed or it was it was it was it wasn't uh, inadmissible. Like it was used as like evidence of him being racist. That he's racist yeah. and planted the glob and everything. I don't think they took into account at all that it was like theater, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what they were doing on purpose. Yeah, yeah it was very brilliant. I mean, I guess I just I love I love those guys. I love that I love OJ's lawyers. I love the whole thing. I I think you know Nicole. I think uh, kind of she was like a modern Jesus. Truly, I yeah, think we've... she died for our entertainment sins. Because, <laughs> like, honestly, if you told me, like, he, like if that doesn't happen, I might press the button. Like, no, he still kills them. <laughs> like, because it's just too fun. Yeah, yeah, of course. I would never save Nicole's if given the option. No, I'd yeah. watch. I'd be like, this is gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah. I'm but, not taking away the People versus OJ. Simpson. I'm like, this is gonna be really entertaining someday. <laughs> I'm like, Sarah Paulson needs this to <laughs> escape the American Horror Story universe. She's a great actor, and I would never give up Nicole's <sighs> life. What, so she could fart, fuck Marcus Allen a couple more times? I know, yeah, come on. He was going to do it eventually anyway. I know, you, you. she was fucking the entire NFL. Yeah. You know? She was You're really asking to get your whole rubbing head cut off. Rubbing it in. You're asking to get your whole head cut off. You banging a bus boy? Come on. Uh, it is hard to watch, um, well, what's his face? The, the, the Ron... Uh, Ron Goldman. Goldman, his family. Yeah. That doesn't make me feel good watching them be sad. No, yeah. That's rough. His dad, who looks like he owns a candy store. <laughs> his dad looks like he has like a fake, but like he looks like, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like he had a fake mustache and beard on the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a Charlie Kelly character. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's investigating OJ secretly. <laughs> like he puts that on to like follow OJ around. Right, right. Yeah. What's his dad's name? Um, I don't know. I forget. But man, what a fucking case. Love it. Love uh, F. Lee Bailey. I was going to say F. Lee Bailey's great. Incredible, dude. Mm-hmm. Doesn't he drop doesn't F. Lee Bailey drop a hard in in his like 7 minutes that he gets up? He does, but he's cuz he's quoting I think he's quoting Furman. Mm-hmm. But he didn't speak the entire trial and they're like, "All right, F. Lee, you get 7 minutes." Four f bombs, just go for yeah, it. Yeah, he went up there and he's like, "I was, you know, I was around like I was in Mississippi burning and shit." Like I, I, I he goes, "I can handle this." Right? He's like, "I'm not dressed like a deacon for no reason. <laughs> we're about to, we're about to drop some hard ends right now." <laughs> Phil, I sometimes still just I feel bad for Chris Darden. I'll just drive around being like, "Man, I feel bad for that guy." Yeah. You know, what a loser. I know. He fucked it all up and he was such a good guy. He just wanted to do the right thing. I know. And then ultimately, like his like your biggest fuck up is celebrated by your community. You I know. know. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's 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 mm-hmm. a tale, uh, you know, that you no one could write that. Right. Imagine you're it's the worst day of your professional life and your neighbors are throwing a barbecue when you get home. Yeah. Because of that. Because of that. Yeah. You're like, guys, he's guilty. And they're like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> You seen what they done to us in this country? And you're like, I know, but I'm a lawyer. Right. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I was used by Garcetti to try and win this case lately because I just threw a black person at it. What? What, what am I, an executive for the WB yeah. or whatever? Well, I mean, they got what they deserve. Hello? 
they got what they deserved, honestly, because, uh, you know, they were trying to, they were initially going to have the jury be in like Santa Monica, yes. I think. And yeah. he would have he been indicted to me. Or he oh, would have been one, found one guilty. One day trial. Yeah. One, the, ju- one the, day trial. Yeah, the jury, like, it would have been halfway, like, through the first day. And the jury's like, hey, we got, we got this. <laughs> Judge, we're, we good. <laughs> yeah. But instead, they're like, no, we're not racist. We're going to have the trial take mm. place at, like, the Watts Towers. Right, the Watts Towers. We're going to make sure to have 12 black jurors. That's totally not going to backfire. <laughs> Dude, the Black Panther on in the jury. I know. But they had no clue. And then at the very end, OJ gets off, and he just, he's standing there yeah. doing the fist. They're like, jury number one, Fred Hampton, of course. <laughs> What did, what did they suspect? Yeah, jury number jury number two, Doctor Umar <laughs> Kuzman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, jury number uh, jury number three. Uh, uh, who, who's the, uh, uh, the 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 alien god? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Yakub. Yakub. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's <laughs> with a <laughs> giant <laughs> head. Yakub's giant. <laughs> There's a sketch artist drawing Yakub. <laughs> Hell yeah, mm. Ben! You're not a big OJ trial guy, are you? Uh, I saw the uh, I saw something. I saw uh, the I think the Cuba one, the Cuba Gooding oh, Cuba Gooding Jr. One? one. Yeah, yeah. It was all right. I thought it was cool. I'm looking up you Cube. You now. never watched the Thirty for Thirty on you on you Cube, huh? On you Cube. <laughs> yeah, the Thirty for Thirty <laughs> on you Cube. <laughs> It's just like LeBron, George Foreman. They're like, you have to understand when you Cube invented white people. <laughs> Yakub invented white people to be bad at sports. Yes, that's right. the only. He invented white people to create the Washington Generals. <laughs> yeah, he just really wanted to see uh, Birdman Anderson <laughs> fuck up the dunk contest. <laughs> <laughs> and then Yakub died, and Mac McClung just like rose from the ashes. Yakub in a lab creating Birdman. That's his his ultimate, the culmination of his life's work. He's gonna really throw a wrench in things. <laughs> He's going to do so badly at the dunk contest, he becomes an entirely different type of white person. <laughs> He's going to go into the dunk contest, a fucking Sean White guy, and three years later, he's going to look like Badger and Skinny Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there he is. There's Yakub. Yeah, there he is. Classic Yakub. All praise. All praise Glory be. be to God. Not as yeah. much stuff on Yakub as you'd think. He was in Britain's Got Talent in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> God, I wish I was a guy that just watched shows like Britain's Got Talent. My life would be so much easier. Mm-hmm. But not, my life fucking sucks. I just sit around and watch birds all day. I watch birds come to my bird feeder. Yeah. I wish I could sit. I wish I could watch The Masked Singer all day. Like, if you shaved that kid's head off, he would have the Yakub head. Yeah, underneath. he would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, back to family. I'm going guy. back to my, <laughs> I'm going back <laughs> back to my favorite to family, family guy, guy moments. Back, back to our roots, <laughs> which is top family guy moments. Okay, sorry. So that camera is recording now. Okay, sick. And, uh, but yeah, my understanding of OJ is very limited. Like, uh, I think I came into knowledge about, uh, into knowing about OJ just because of like weekend update norm sure, jokes. Right. And that was like kind of the genesis. Like, I, I didn't know he was a football player or anything. Mm-hmm. I, did, I had no, I sure. had no, uh, you sorry. gotta watch got, the 30 for 30. You got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Walter, Walter, you got me. Walter White hands. I'm a white guy. You got you me. Got me. <laughs> Just yeah. Walter White at a BLM rally. Yeah. Yeah. You, got me. you got me. That's right. I was using it to buy six homes. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brent it's, it's and Dad, but they're just using BLM to buy mansions in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse, the JR Crickets. <laughs> We're laundering money. Jesse, we've got to start a Zoom class to not be racist. People will pay thousands. What What were they supposed to spend the money on, though? What do you mean? Like the BLM money. Not personal mansions? I don't yeah, know. But, I mean, what are you, what are you going to do? I don't know. Like, what are they going to open? I have wondered that. What something? are they supposed to do just, with the money? They're supposed to buy a couple of I guess houses. I think they're just supposed to send it to black. They're supposed to make their own little government and like mm-hmm. do reparation, like send right. black like people money. Ship people money. Like, every, every black person gets a check for $85. Yeah. I don't know how it fucking works, but 
I don't know what at the point of it donating anything is to anything. Mm. No, uh, it's for, never going for the, the tax write off of your own benefit, right? right. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah. much. Mm-hmm. Or to like wash money if you have your own uh, foundation, can't you just send money through that and then back to yourself? Basically, yeah, I think you just so. wash it, mm-hmm. make yeah. it clean. Mm-hmm. That's why I was buying all those titty pics during uh, BLM. Oh yeah, that people were doing mm. so I could write that off on my taxes. What a time! Yeah, what a time! Titty people pic. we knew. That was the crazy thing is you could buy. I mean, it's the ultimate porn fantasy of being like. I literally wish I could go to Google and type in, like, woman I know getting fucked. Right, right. You know? Yeah, the schizophrenic. <laughs> at- <laughs> woman from the library, yeah. anal. It was the only time you could be like, oh, the schizophrenic at the open mic? Like, I could see her tits? Here, here's 10 bucks. All yeah, right. sure, why not? Yeah. Anyway, I photoshopped this receipt. Yeah. All right, now send back the picture, Jeff Daniels. <laughs> and she killed herself. <laughs> <laughs> No, I avoided the ones who killed themselves. I, <laughs> we didn't do that. I want it. I want it on the record. She's a fucking bitch. I sent her ten bucks, and then she killed herself before she sent me the pictures of her tits. There was. BLM. I bought like three, just because I was. I was in. A, <laughs> <laughs> I was. In, I've talked about that before. I've talked about that before. You have. Yeah. 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 Bedrus doesn't listen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you turn into my wife. <laughs> All right, then what did yeah. I say? Yeah, we are two gray shapes in Ben's vision. <laughs> what did I say, Ben? Um, I bought like three, and I, it was always so funny because you didn't know what to, like you sent them the receipt, like I donated $40. Right. And then they would send a titty pic, and then I would just give like a thumbs up emoji <laughs> because I didn't know what to send. <laughs> like it's still we're not gonna fuck right. Would you send the black power fist back? <laughs> yeah, I send the black you kind of have to, right? Yeah. I think you send that. I sent the the white hand a, a thumbs up emoji. The Phil Mickelson thumb? I had to hold it down and then change it to the white thumb to send it back. It just slide it all the way over from <laughs> yeah. yellow. Yeah. To I the, mean, we were terrified. It was like it yeah. was like the Viet Cong. You just were like, I'm going to get sniped do, from a tree somewhere. Yeah, we had no clue what the point of life was. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm going to send money to this bitch. Yeah. It's a scary I was, time. Life I was, felt like Minesweeper. Yeah. I was scared to send texts in group chats. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's mm-hmm. how insane it was. How did they, did you have to send evidence that you sent money to BLM? Yeah, that's what you, you sent. Like I donated to like the Minneapolis, you know, uh-huh. Freedom Project and then like took her screenshot of the receipt. Mm. She gets back to you. She's like, like you donated money to IBM. <laughs> you bought stocks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Were the titties nice? Yeah. No, they were not. They were never nice. Yeah. Yeah. We should get a thing in here that says like black owned business. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe that'll we be should. that'll be the merch. Yeah, just yeah. so nobody ever fucks with our room. <laughs> yeah, to to keep Ben's house safe, we put a just a board that says we love. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part of BLM was people boarding up the stores and like spray painting like please blacks no we don't love do you it. but god damn it get out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally like a Chinese guy spray painting black owned business mm-hmm. on his like laundromat for some reason I never thought like the race war like if there, if a race war broke out that like O'Reilly's auto parts would suffer the most you know yeah just the most random you're just like wow i they i don't know i guess mm-hmm. autozone is like the clan yeah <laughs> they were just, <laughs> just blowing up like yeah. the weirdest businesses yeah and it was so and it was also very funny the militia guys who were like uh o'reilly's has fallen <laughs> <laughs> just, like radioing their other mm. bb gun enthusiast loser yep. friends yep and being like the midas has fallen ladies and gentlemen bevmo is no more <laughs> Uh, yeah, they just got yogurt land. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they got yogurt land. We must protect the good target, not the shitty target. <laughs> not the shitty one. Get the, the Target Express. Yeah, they're almost a target. The one with the escalator. Yes, <laughs> we'll send all the boys down. I kind of miss it. Yeah, I mean, turns out all that stuff was probably funded by uh, like intelligence groups. By and us, like, yeah. I see. I did. I talk about this already. I I went on Twitter like the other day. And I just see Charlie Kirk is speaking at some something that doesn't exist. Like if you Google it, you go that place doesn't exist. Mm-hmm, but right. he's speaking at it for some reason. Yeah, he's speaking at like In and Out University, <laughs> right? And the the events like for Israel somehow. Yeah. Every event is like you follow the money long enough, it's for Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So he Charlie Kirk is speaking, and God knows what that guy is saying. It's probably. It's probably he's just babbling into a mic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does, he has no idea what's going mm-hmm. on. He's challenging the green M M&M and M to a fist fight. <laughs> yes. He's yes. like, "You and me, Caesar's Palace, August twenty fifth. <laughs> 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 
and, and then that, going like, my face is not small. I do not have. A, those are Photoshop pictures of my face. I have a normal size small face. I did. I did not suck off Kyle Rittenhouse. We did not make out. Me and Kyle did not fuck at a Bob's Big Boy and give each other the thumbs up. <laughs> you and me, Caesar's <laughs> Caesar's Palace. Me versus the Green M and M. No rules. Fifteen rounds. I want you. I looked it up. The the green one is the androgynous one now, and then the purple one's the non-binary queer one. Mm, mm, so mm, good for some reason, because I thought the yeah. green one was the was the gay guy one. I I also just love every corporation. Like first off, if you're mad at the M and M's, you're mentally retarded and should kill yep. yourself. But also the corporations, <laughs> like literally, you're, yeah. you're you're mad at chocolate. <laughs> you're in you're in a psych yeah. you're in a psyop battle with chocolate. Yeah, it's it's in Rob Schneider's right. on your team. If there's the that's the definition of the word retarded. <laughs> Um, but also, like, oh, what do I think? Oh, whatever Rob Schneider. thinks. Yeah, whatever Rob Schneider thinks. That's what I think. But also, the 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 people at the good M and M's company who are just like, what if we gave them asses so they could get fucked in them? <laughs> right. What if we made sure they're getting fucked? These little chocolates. They, yeah. They Elliot Page that little uh, damn M M&M. and M. Yeah, they did. They cut its fucking tits off and mm-hmm. stuff, which mm-hmm. is fine. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. But like, and look, I'm not pissed about it. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like, yeah. They made the M M and M androgynous now. Which yeah. Is, which is whatever. And it doesn't have as big as eyelashes uh, of eyelashes anymore. And you go, okay, that's not really a gay one. It's just like a flat chested lady, right? Which that's fine. And right. then, but then the purple one, they made a big fat gay guy. Yeah, yeah. The purple one's a big fat queer one. Have you seen the M M&M and M lineup? And we'll get to the tr- back to the Charlie no, Kirk let's, thing. Let's do the M M&M and M stuff. But yeah. I actually do kind of understand people being very, very upset about this because I was a bit <laughs> bewildered myself. Well, I'm um, you know I'm a man of tradition. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, yeah. this is upsetting. Yeah, what I what I'm saying is like what's funny to me is imagining you know anyone the, upset. Yeah, the Mars family in a boardroom also is very funny to me. Like right. just the crustiest old evil guys in America. Yeah. So here's so like the, the Koch brothers just being like, "Could we make him gay? Make him gay." <laughs> <laughs> Showing a picture of their fail son who's tried to kill himself and became trans. Make him look like Jeff. Give the Cadbury egg tits. <laughs> 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 So the purple one's androgynous. The, no, the the green one is androgynous now. Look, it's okay. not. It's well, nowhere it's doing, near as hot as it used to be. It's doing high heels. I guess it's doing like, but it's doing very gay hands. That is true. See, androgynous. See, it's, look, it's look eyelashes are much fucking, smaller. What they gave him? They gave the green M M&M and M like dick sucking lips. <laughs> look at those DSLs. Yeah, I'd face fuck that thing right oh now. Oh my god, come here. <laughs> actually, yeah, it kind of is hotter. What's actually. the fucking orange one doing? The orange one looks like it's really terrified of trans people. Yeah. <laughs> the orange one's like, oh no, our southern traditions. The preservation of the white people. Yeah, the, the, the orange one talks like Jimmy Stewart. It's like, well, 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 you can't be a woman, you're a man. I can give you a moon. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you tats. I'll give you the moon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wonderful life, but the angel is saving him from becoming a woman. Goes well, well, well. If I became a woman, that boy would have fallen through the ice. I couldn't swim to him because I got big fat tits, and I wouldn't want to get my shirt wet. Merry Christmas, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Elliot Page. And Merry Christmas, Burn Down Estrogen Factory. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Well, well, well. My pussy isn't here. It's in your. It's in Old Man Jeffers' farm. I mean, my pussy's in the Costco downtown. Who says Santa's got a gender, everybody? Come on. Yeah, he saves the end of the movie is he saves the bank by starting a GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> to George Bailey, the gayest man in town. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! What is this? A, a funeral for a blue M&M? Yeah, this lady uh, got an M M&M and M uh, themed funeral, which makes me laugh. Oh my god! Like she got buried in the. I think this is the almond. The blue one's the almond. I'm you, pretty sure. You know that had to be a closed casket funeral too. Just from all the, <laughs> just from whatever horrifically happened to her head when she died. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. man, yeah. brutal. Yeah, what a completely worthless country we live in, <laughs> full of the dumbest people that deserve nothing. <laughs> I, I, Truly, <laughs> deserve I, deserve like, nothing. Matter of factly said. What do you think this memory for this kid's gonna be like? Like when he looks back on this, he's like, "Ah, oh, holy shit! I I cried over a big M M&M. and M. That kid just shot a bunch of people in Louisville today." <laughs> He might. He literally might be <laughs> yeah, the same might. kid. Might be the same guy. 
shit. Damn. Man. Yeah. Bury me in a big M&M. Yeah, my, yeah, just in therapy 20 years later. Yeah, my mom blew her head off and then got buried down in M&M. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Grandma so killed now, herself in front of us. And yeah, then, uh, so that's why I, I paid a woman to crush my balls, and that's how your daddy lost a ball to a BDSM lady. People really, you shouldn't have to respect people's will wills. No, fuck not at that. all. If it's silly, no, no, fuck no that. Yeah. Then fuck that, man. Mm-hmm. This is fucked up. People that like leave their money to a cat, shit yeah. like that. Look at this bitch. Look at this lady. I don't get the point she's trying to make. She's so she's pro them changing the or is this political or she's oh, love You think she killed herself in protest over the M and M's? I don't right. know. I'm trying to figure I out. I don't know. She probably asked if they could put a MAGA hat on the M M&M, and M, <laughs> and they're like, we just don't have the manpower to do uh, it. It's so insane how what aging does to people. Just your I brain. Go, I mean, this lady probably was like, I used to fuck Kennedy. <laughs> right. She used to be a young, vibrant woman who's like, dur, 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 dur. yeah, doing the Charles Sh- shaking her tits around, getting yeah. fucked. Downtown. I was with Kennedy when the Bay of Pigs happened. <laughs> I, he came in my mouth when the when the first troops dropped. <laughs> I got drunk from his cum. Right. And now she's just like, Facebook told me the M and M's are making my son gay. <laughs> Lady, you used to get railed. What happened you to you? You used to get butt-fucked by sailors <laughs> home from the war. Lady, you used to get fucking rim jobbed out. <laughs> yeah. Now look at you. Yeah, you're pissed about the M&Ms. Now look at you. She's got nice big thighs on her, too. Yeah, I bet she was a real queen. They all got those big thighs. Did she know she was going to die, so she took a picture with herself before she killed herself with the angel wing? This was probably right after she died. This was the... <laughs> they propped her up. They propped her up like she was Jesse James. <laughs> And everybody in town paid a nickel to see her. Put her on a bunch of ice in the square. Oh, uh, so I was going to say about Charlie Kirk. Yes. <laughs> Charlie, uh, Charlie Kirk, uh, uh, he's like trending. So I click on it and I go, oh, people are mad he's speaking. I go, that doesn't make any sense. No one really cares anymore about anything, right? Mm-hmm. Especially like Charlie Kirk is like, kind of his relevance is like waning. Yeah, surely. yeah. Yeah. And then I click on it and I see like they're, there's people with masks and they're in all black and there's like seven of them and they're it looks like they're just trying to open these doors to an auditorium to get in and one of them breaks a window mm-hmm. and the you know the cop the the protection or whatever is like I'm talking into a walkie that's squawking and it's just sort of a grainy video and that's like going viral and they're like I can't believe in Tifa and the left and blah 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 and then you go that's that video that is in that is where they shot the moon landing. Right. Wherever they did that, right. they're shooting all this stuff mm-hmm. in a in a sound room. Charlie Kirk isn't even there. He's not speaking. None of this stuff. I'm gonna say it again. None. Of, I don't think any of this is happening. Yeah, I think this psyops. stuff is funded by. Yeah. yeah. I think it's yeah. all a psyop. They're like if look you're at, paying look, attention to that at all. Yeah. They're like look at Antifa attacking the Charlie Kirk auditorium. It's just like January 6 videos mm-hmm. that they've like just zoomed in on. Yeah, yeah. It's and like if it World is World War real, Z footage. Yeah. If it is real, they, they just need stop showing up and protesting it because it makes them feel important. Yeah. Charlie Kirk. Yeah. It, if, if 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 he's giving like uh, an incredibly retarded speech where he's nothing and to say, windows are being broken he thinks he's like Malcolm X now yeah. of like white people exactly and also stop putting it on the fucking news because it's not news right it's not news yeah who is he it's he- Trump got erected a, a, a charge and everybody like went 2017 mode again mm-hmm. which was really I thought people had like learned but there was like the same no, know, dude. retards Russ Cole, on either side of a stanchion yelling at each other Russ yep. Cole with the beer can dude yeah Yep, it all started it's all Cole over again. The beer it's can. a flat circle, I guess you're right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why we all have to grow ponytails and start drinking really hard. Okay. I'm halfway uh, there. I've been growing my hair out. So. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like, you know, because I'm like, you know, I'm like, I don't need to like really date anymore. Like, what if I just like went real sicko mode? Mm-hmm. Got a long ponytail and gained like 200 pounds. Yeah. You know? But yeah. What, what I'm is- going to work on you this year. You're going to be drinking by the end of the year. <laughs> I got my eye, I got on, my eye on Jace. You, then like we'll a, start with you. Like I'm a football prospect. Yeah, I still have to do some paperwork to figure out how to crack you. Yeah. You're, you're the blind side of drinking. It's like, we're going to get that boy on the field, whether he knows about it or not. I'm driving him like, he looks like a good drunk, honey. Let's adopt him. Yeah, just me <laughs> holding a cardboard side that says, soba. Because what is the point? Like, I can't become a guy who has a ponytail... And like David Foster Wallace, like little glasses, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting in my backyard just staring at a bird. Yeah, yeah. That I've been luring for years. I have to be hammered. Right. And uh, suddenly, if you're like all that autistic stuff, is just cool now. 
Like you staring mm-hmm. at the bird, that but you're, you're hammered off martinis at 2 p.m. Yeah. It's yeah, like badass. If I'm drunk, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. The one weird thing about all the interest you're starting to have is that they really go along with like a glass of scotch. <laughs> they're alcohol adjacent they're, activities. Yes, they're things that only guys yeah. that are like excited to drink a glass of scotch at 3 p.m. do. I think we are we are circling mm. the drain of a massive relapse. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I might be a turd going down a bowl. Who knows? And at the, I, I'm going to go down the fucking, I'm going to go mm. down the pipe. Yeah. And I'm just going to end up in a sewer of just like a Bud Light. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe you go just, through... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride that shit. Maybe you go through a wormhole and, into a whole nother galaxy. You know? Find a new level of racism previously mm. unknown beforehand. Wow, yeah. Like an untapped source in the core yeah. of the earth. Mm-hmm. Like a new mineral. You are you relapse and you're freaking Anthony Kumia out. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You become so racist <laughs> that I, it actually stops racism. <laughs> I take it to its farthest known mm-hmm. uh, uh, boundary. Yeah, you're yeah. you're like measuring the skulls of dinosaurs or something. <laughs> you just go, you go real left brain with it. Mm. I become the Jurassic Park guy, the yeah, old yeah. the old guy, but for racism. Yeah, David Attenborough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that David Attenborough? Oh no, it's his brother um, in Jurassic Park. Oh, the, the, the guy with the Attenborough. little cane. Yeah, yeah. the guy, the main, the creator of Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, the guy yeah. who looks like Colonel Sanders, but more racist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the phrenologist of fucking dinosaurs. (laughs) We've designed a dinosaur that's all white. Yeah. (laughs) Pointing at a brontosaurus, he's like, he could dunk. (laughs) You you feel like in that in that guy's trained dinosaurs to do manual labor. (laughs) We got these dinosaurs on a chain gang. (laughs) Yeah, T Rex just singing while swinging a hammer. It kind oh, of, <laughs> Jesus gave me water. Jesus. <laughs> a, t- a, br- a brontosaurus singing Wade in the Water. <laughs> oh, fuck. Woo. This is good. This is like the Woo. hate watch days when it was hot as shit. We were Woo. all getting like loopy. I know. We were all- <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Just letting them fly. <laughs> yeah, there is something about us when it gets too hot. We go like southern courtroom mode. <laughs> Yeah, and we're just like, here we go, baby. <laughs> but for real though, that mo- Jurassic Park does feel like he's like in this lab. In this, and then how does he talk? He goes, there. He goes, in this there. lab, in this lab, we have uh, the eggs. We've frozen eggs of a uh, of a brontosaurus, and we'll bring it back to life. And guess what else we can bring back to life? And you know, you remember Adolf Hitler, don't you? All right, <laughs> follow me in this room. <laughs> That's yeah. They have the little cartoon that goes, "That's right, Nazi DNA." <laughs> We take. <laughs> let me show you. Let me. Let us go for a ride. Hop on this train. <laughs> we found a bit of Hitler's brain lodged in a bullet in a wall in Berlin. Because they're fucking. They're, and we use that to create. Archeo- it opens with archaeologists. Yeah. <laughs> just digging, and they just hold up. They found Hitler's mustache, just the mustache, and they're gonna clone him. Because they're like on Epstein Island in that movie. Yeah, pretty much. I think that's the yeah. Um, I hope the video is recording, but I think we're over an hour now. So okay, uh, cool. not that we that 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 that's what we try to do, but you know, uh, whatever. We well, gave them a lot of racism this episode, so yeah. I think we can. <laughs> a good one. Yeah. yeah, and I think we towed the line well as usual, and we're sponsored by Bud Light. <laughs> that's so, right, that's fine. Sponsored by Bud Light, Devin Hate Watch Pod, pa- patreoncom slash party for more episodes uh, for video and audio on the Patreon. Join. We we have almost four thousand people there on the Patreon. So we're having a lot of fun over there. Go to, uh, also live streams on the YouTube Clips channel, Lemon Party Clips. So make sure you subscribe to that. We're going live every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you don't want to miss those. Yeah, mm-hmm. going to have a lot of fun this summer. We got the pool. We could just set the camera up and just just mm-hmm. go. Oh, we can let it fly. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday to the great Joey Lafleur. Happy birthday, Send Joey. Send him some love. Yeah. Yeah. R, uh, what is, at, Joey R. Lafleur. At Joey R. L. A. F. L. E. U. R. Yep. On Instagram. Give him some pussy. Go to Joey's Instagram. <laughs> give him some pussy. Show him some love. Mm-hmm. Are we going to see Joey later? Is he doing anything? We could have. I mean, yeah. Maybe. I'll go see It's Joey. a work day, so. I'll go see Joey. Yeah, we're working right now. It's a work you day. Know, That's we're working, true. Yes. Yeah, we're in the lab. Okay. So. So. <laughs> we're in the lab. Yeah, we're in the lab. Yeah. Honey, don't bother us. We're complaining about yeah. you and being racist. Sorry, we in the lab with a pen and a pad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, writing lemon party clips is that like that that clip of Gunna when the, he's writing and the fire <laughs> right, goes right. everywhere. It's like a young thug like on the computer. 
<laughs> ben has no clue. We're ben thinks we're talking about like fucking you yeah, know war think- people. Like- <laughs> yeah, he thinks it's like gangsters from the twenties. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you know, like like Baby of Face course, Nelson, yeah, yeah. Bugsy Siegel, yeah. Young Thug, yeah, yeah, YG, all the guys, Ooh, <laughs> Baby Face. Babyface Nelson. Yeah, Wu Tang Clan. They were the Chinese bank robbers. Yeah, we all know what you're talking about. Of course, about. Meyer Lansky, Notorious B.I.G. Uh, I guess we need to have a qualifier for all the female listeners who might be mad is that uh, guys are, I mean, it's bad that we don't listen. Also, mm-hmm. but also it's you also need to survive. Also, yeah. also we're just doing bits. It's so. a joke. Yeah. No, I was being dead serious. Ben was being dead serious. I'm also being serious. <laughs> Yeah, me too. But it's a joke. If but, I if I have yeah. question about this later, it's a joke. Yeah, but we're not gonna we don't we don't take it that seriously. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. loving it's a men. Serious joke. We love we love who we love. Mm-hmm. We love who we're with. Mm-hmm. We that's the thing with us is we love everybody who's immediately in our lives mm-hmm. and yep. everybody outside of it we hate mm-hmm. anonymously. And that's a good philosophy for life. Yeah. If you're offended, if you're offended by it, then you just want to get it. Yep. Yeah. I, I recommend you watch uh, <laughs> Yakub Joker. <laughs> Joker. I didn't mean to type that in. Dude, please, Yakub Joker. Please see if there's a result for Yakub Joker. <sighs> okay. That's way too twisted. <laughs> Whatever. I think my computer's going to congratulate me that I finally like passed the test. Yeah. And like I can ascend to another dimension. There's unfortunately no results for Yakub Joker. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Well, there is some stuff I will be watching later, though. <laughs> Yep, yeah. Whatever this, whatever this is, with a uh, babies flying planes. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What Can is you put that, that on real quick? Can we just end it with this. Do they actually make them fly in the air? What the fuck? They can't. That's got to be like a tricycle thing. Yeah, they must just wheel around. They yeah. can't actually go to the air. Yeah. Whoa, it's kind of taking off. Isn't this illegal to make oh, a baby no, they, fly? They just they're they, they're a little tricycle. They're on things, pedals. Yeah. It's fine. They I just, mean, they would get killed by hawks and stuff, right? <laughs> Yeah. Like a birds would absolutely fuck them up. Mm-hmm. This is very weird. What do the kids get out of this? They can't actually fly. Yeah, like I don't know. I'm waiting for a kid to like poke his head too far and just like lose an eye. <laughs> it's like him flipping the crowd. Like, <laughs> thumbs up. This kid, that kid looks so racist, dude. Did you see that kid? Oh, that's a future racist for sure. Oh dude, yeah, yeah, look at him. He's gonna try to fly over to Japan and drop a homemade bomb. <laughs> oh yeah. That kid's like gonna hold a trout and like shit on our <laughs> podcast soon. Yeah. Dude, I still get people tweeting at me just like sad what your life has become. <laughs> I'm just like, all right. I'm like I make a living doing this. Right. I don't know what's yeah. so sad. Working two hours a week, sad. <laughs> sad. Like, all right, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever I did to you, sir, I'm sorry. Right. Why, how, why did you make my dad molest me <laughs> and make me angry at everyone? Look, look at the dads of the kids. Mm-hmm. Look at the dads of these fucking kids. It's tucked in polos. Mm-hmm. Look at the dads. Yeah. Yep. I mean, these are all like... Just a bunch of dudes that are like, I could have been Shane Gillis. <laughs> Yeah, dudes like I feel like like if they ate pussy, they would like fade into dust like a vampire. <laughs> mm-hmm. If pussy juice touched their mouth, they would explode. Yeah, they'd yeah. melt. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, oh, the whale. Where are we at in the whale? He's, a, he's asleep because he ate a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's the greatest film ever made. <laughs> yeah. See, like it's the best acting you've ever seen. He's asleep in a chair. Uh, oh, God. We should do a whale director's commentary like episode one day. Yeah, yeah, I need to do that somehow. I don't know. I don't know what we're allowed to do. I well, mean, you just played the whole movie for the public episode. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, hopefully they don't start uh, copywriting because that's why I don't do the picture in picture. I just do it. If we did this on Patreon, I think we could get away with it being vaguely on like people could see enough here is or fine. up there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know if we can play the audio, though. Maybe we can. I would say not that. I would yeah. say probably not the audio. Safe, yeah. You'd have to play the audio while listening to us talk about it. Right. We could tell people start now mm-hmm. and then we're not going to pause. We're it. not going to pause it. Yeah. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That, that could maybe work. Right. And then we totally pause it. And then we'll you. pause it a bunch and just <laughs> yeah. talk about, you know. How fat he is. Yeah, birds <laughs> or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. He loves birds. He loves birds. And this is who you right. should model your life at. Right. But <laughs> also, he has he's trying to catch that bird and eat it. We've talked about that. Yes. Mm. Yeah. No, he thinks that's a game hen. He's also yeah. He's also feeding it on a plate. That's a trap. <laughs> yep. He's gonna put a big dish on top of it. Mm-hmm. Throw it right in the oven. To me, this is every guy who has a really popular sub stack. 
is the whale. In my head, it's it's this guy. Mm-hmm. A guy attached attached to an oxygen tank. Right. In, in a room with no lights. This is if you ever met Aaron Gwen, your friend. Yeah. Oh, his, yeah, yeah. His family's just like... <laughs> yeah. Family's just always visiting him like, listen, Matt, Taibi, like, we don't care about Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. We get it. They go, just get a light bulb. It's corrupt. <laughs> we don't care. Get a light bulb. Drink a glass of water. I don't know what to tell you, Taibi. <laughs> Get some sun. Mm. <laughs> and I love Matt Taibbi, but... Oh, yeah, it's just funny. I haven't it, yeah. given a fuck about whatever he's reporting on being lambasted for. I just don't care. Oh, he's like Elon's uh, guy now, right? Yeah, he's the little... They're trying to make him like he's right wing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't who care. knows? Elon changed his name to Harry Balls on Twitter. Man, so. That's what great. a huge hack. Yeah. Just a guy that bought fart machines at yeah. fucking at, at, at fucking Spencer's Sharper is image. now like running yeah. the world. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he bought a website to post his bad jokes. Yep. Yeah. Just a human who farted t shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say, though, uh, uh, waking up at 8 a.m. and going uh, to take a shit and opening up Twitter and mm-hmm. seeing like 17 people get shot in the face upon opening it, it has been better than the old Twitter. But wh- wh- why aren't these people killing the, 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 the people that are annoying? Why aren't people ki- like? Why aren't they doing it to like like targeted to people that actually this needs to happen? Well, to? I'm very confused. I've been very confused by that for a while. Like it's like the, you know the CIA has obviously been very lazy in the last twenty mm-hmm. years. No murderness. Nobody dies. Right. Nobody. All these people that are apparently the worst thing for the country. Not an assassination attempt. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Not a fucking syringe in the foot. No Michael Clayton shit. Mm-hmm. You know, there's got to be a Tom Wilkinson guy out there. Walking home with a bag of baguettes, and you somebody think? nobody's bludgeoning him and mm-hmm. killing him anymore. I, you but he's just trying to fuck Dylan Mulvaney. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. he's undressing in front of Dylan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the CIA is doing more deeper cons now, long cons, mm-hmm. where they're going to like Dylan Mulvaney's house. They're like, you're going to become a woman, <laughs> and we're going to fuck shit up. Right. Yeah. You're going. Yeah. You're going deep undercover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ever heard of culture war? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thumbing a yeah. big suspender, tying a trans person up to a train track. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what have we made idiots mad at him? All right, hopefully the video has been recording. Uh, much love, and we'll see you on the next episode, or maybe over on the Patreon. Who knows? Take care, everybody. All right, bye, bye. bye.